In this video, I'm going to be giving a walkthrough and review of SpyFu, which is a search engine marketing tool that you might be potentially considering for SEO research or pay-per-click research. And if you've been watching my channel or even if you've just discovered me, I am a PPC specialist. Um, and because of that, I'm only going to be focusing on the PPC research section of SpyFu and give my opinion on whether I think you paying the 40 bucks a month um, is worthwhile from a PPC perspective. Um, so let's go ahead and take you through it. I'm going to just walk you through the platform itself and the different features and then at the very end give my review and share whether I think it's worthwhile or not. Um, so within SpyFu, um, there is a section here to put the URL that you want to do research on, whether it's yours, your competitor, uh, pretty much it claims that it can do research on the keywords behind the paid ads, as well as the ads, the, um, and also, you know, average cost per click, um, and so forth. But from a perspective of, you know, using a tool like this, you would think like, oh, this is awesome because I can see what my competitors are bidding on. I can see their ad spend, which is great because then I'll see if I'm even competitive with them. Um, just so that everyone knows as you are you know, doing research on SpyFu and determining whether or not it's worthwhile, SpyFu aggregates data on a national level, not on a local regional level. So if you are a local business, the data is not going to be very um, accurate. Uh, if you are looking at a, um, if you're trying to see what other local businesses are, are advertising. Um, so please keep that in mind. Uh, you might not even see some of your local competitors in SpyFu uh, because there just isn't enough information for it to to gather. Uh, so that's kind of the downside that I've you know come across with SpyFu. Uh, but it claims that it can dig the paid keywords uh, behind the ads as well as how many clicks they get and the estimated monthly ad budget that they have. So I typed in WeWork, which is a co-working space, um, and. Basically, what it's come back with is it has 14,000 keywords, uh, 10,000, uh, 10,000, 10.9 uh, monthly PPC clicks, and they spend about uh, $655,000 a month. But remember, it's on a national level. Now, there's no way for me, for me to really know if this is true or not, um, but, uh, you know, this is the data that it's spitting back, uh, but... In terms of the data that it's able to pull, I know that it scans the search engine results page consistently um, and it gives information like how many years that they've been running PBC. Uh, it shows the competitors as well as uh, overlap between your keywords and theirs so that you could see where maybe you might be missing out on, you know, some traffic if you're clicking on, you know, your actual, you know, competitor's uh, bubble, you could see what keywords you might be missing out on, what keywords are shared, what keywords belong to you, and what keywords other competitors are bidding on. So that's interesting uh, from that perspective. And then you can also see Yes, who the top paid competitors are in the space, but remember this is from a national perspective. So, you know, rework Regis LoopNet, they all do they all do regional and local plays. So you're not really going to know how much WeWork is spending in Los Angeles versus the Dallas area. Uh, so this fifty uh, six hundred fifty five thousand a month does not break things down into a localized perspective. So do keep that in mind. Um, it shows you, uh, what percentage of the traffic is mobile, um, and also, uh, the average cost per click, uh, monthly ad cost, um, on specific keywords, and also the ads history. So this is actually something that I find super interesting, as you can see in the past, what type of ads 
um, your competitors were running. So you could see maybe what type of promotions, what type of calls to actions they're running during certain seasons. This is really, really great uh, research um, that it pulls um, and will allow you to have better insights into what you might want to offer uh, for your um for your campaigns in terms of uh, you know pay-per-click advertising. So that's great. And you can see how many clicks a month on average, what's the cost per click, the level of coverage or impression share they were able to capture, and then also see top Google ads by recommendations. So which keywords generate the most, um, I guess, you know, uh, results or it's just saying goodbye. So I'm not sure how they're really determining that. It's definitely not by results in terms of conversions because there's no way for you to see what your uh, competitor's actual performance data is on the back end in terms of conversions and conversion rates, unfortunately. Um, but that, yeah, that's all uh, private information. But what we could see is uh, from the front end, what keyword SpyFu is claiming to be a good buy based off of, I don't know what they're using for this, um, but that's what it's saying. So, you know, when I see this report, I take it with a grain of salt because I realize that this is rework from a national level. It gives me a good high level overview, but it doesn't take me into the specifics of every location. So from a perspective of if you are a local business, it's probably not going to be the most useful to see all this data from a paid keywords perspective, uh, paid clicks and monthly, monthly budget. Uh, but it can give you insights from a perspective of keywords. So you could see the keywords that you uh, that your competitors are bidding on. So this is the interesting thing. It's called combat. You can see what keywords your competitors are bidding on, what you overlap with and so forth, which I'd mentioned earlier, um, and see what are you potentially missing out on. You can export this data so that you can upload new keywords into your account that you might not have coverage on currently. Um, that makes sense for you. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what really combat is. It allows you just to see the overlap and you can add more domains and see, uh, over time, uh, you know, the, uh, the overlap across the different, um, keywords. And also too, what's interesting is, you know, from a cost per click perspective, if you have a bid limit, uh, or you're trying to watch your cost per acquisition, you could put you know, the maximum that you're willing to pay so that you could see you don't really care about specific uh, keywords that are, you know, costing more than a certain amount because that's not what you would even want to spend on anyway. And also keywords with the minimum search volume too because you don't want to add keywords that don't have search volume. So keep that in mind. Uh, but also remember too that SpyFu is a third party. It's not Google itself. So it's not going to have the most accurate cost per click data. You could get this data, export it, put it in the keyword planner tool, and then do better analysis based off of that. So that's that for combat. Then PPC keywords. You can see the most successful keywords. Um, and I'm not sure how they're really determining successful, but you know, you could just see where, um, you know, your most quote unquote successful keywords are based off of what we, uh, based off of what SpyFu is determining is successful. You can see the ad copy associated with the keyword. So that is helpful um, from that perspective. And they're pulling this data from the ad, cent the ad center research tool um, that I've talked about on this channel before. So that's great. And then you will also be able to see the ad history. So this takes you in a deeper dive within the ad history section. So with the competitors report, it with every um, section, every tab here, it just takes you deeper into the competitors report. You could see the, um, the keywords and the ads associated with the keywords. Uh, for this competitor, um, and 
basically do research on what types of ads and promotions they're running, whether it's three months for free in the San Francisco Bay Area um, or, you know, a special offer for a, you know, private offices or, um, you know, what are they saying in different areas? If they got different local areas, how do their ads differ? I think this could, this is definitely beneficial when you've got multiple locations across, um, the U.S. or any other country, you could see how is the ad copy being differentiated across the different locations and what type of offers are they using that are different. Um, and in this case, you know, they have a price match guarantee in Vegas. Um, and then here, three months for free in the San Francisco Bay Area. So as a competitor, you could definitely see, you know, how your other competitors that are have multiple locations um, are, you know, setting up their campaigns and what type of strategy they're using from an ad copy perspective. Now there's a Google Ads Advisor tool. And again, I'm not really sure how, okay, here we go. We compared the site's recent advertising habits against its competitors to make recommendations for a more effective campaign. This includes keywords to buy and keywords to drop or to set to a negative match. But it's not really telling me how it's determining whether this, why this keyword is a good buy versus others. So for this, I don't really find it to be super helpful. Um, but it could be just good to look at just to see, but it's not really telling me why it's making this recommendation. It's just saying, this is a good buy, you should buy it. <laughs> um, and then for our, the Google Ads templates, it's there's basically a template that you can use here um, to set up a campaign within five minutes. I would be a little bit um, hesitant to use it. I didn't actually use it, but it just looks very outdated. They're using a screenshot of, um, you know, what Google ads or it was AdWords, like, you know, back in the day looked like. So it makes me think that, you know, it's hard to believe that they kept this up to date. And let's go ahead and take a look right now. I did not actually use this before this uh, walkthrough. So I'm just going to go legal bankruptcy attorney. I'm going to download this and I'm going to see how, what they built. So basically it looks like they have templates here that you they claim you can just upload directly into Google. And let's see. So basically it's set up some templates that you could upload to the Google uh editor and see so okay that's not bad but if you're not experienced and know how to use google ads editor this is not going to be very useful for you but I also caution you that if you do want to if you're looking for something quick and easy then this could be a good potential starting point, but if you're not very experienced to figure out how to use this might be a little challenging. So yeah, if you're experienced, you might want to check it out, but again, it's just a template. It's not anything that's going to be specific to you. So I guess that's cool that they have this, but at the same time, you, if you're going to use it, I would definitely revise the contents of it, especially the ad copy to be more specific to your business. And of course, for the URL, change the URLs that um, to be more specific to you. I think it's cool they have it, but you need to update it to be more specific to you. It's a good starting point, um, but would not recommend to just upload it blindly and not watch it. So... From a perspective of should you use this or not, and what I my personal opinion of SpyFu is for PPC, I think it's a decent research tool um, if you are a national brand because you will be able to see what the um, uh, you'll be able to see different competitors. You'll be able to see. I don't want to call it accurate data because. 
I have yet to really, you know, prove this out. I know that what they've also told me, you know, from speaking with their uh, reps is their research is done on mobile and not desktop. So we're losing out on a lot of potential traffic. Yes, most of these days, mobile traffic is dominating, but there could also be some industries where desktop traffic dominates and you're not going to be getting much to glean from, you know, from SpyFu. So do keep that in mind. Um, With the competitors section and the data that it provides, I do say, tell my clients, take it with a grain of salt, especially if you are a national brand, um, you can, and you already, if you already know what your cost per, uh, or cost per clicks are and your best keywords are and your ad budget is, you can compare it. And I don't know why it's not showing me here. Okay, fine. I'm going to type in a different Regis. Why is it not showing me? Oh, there it is. You can compare, if you are a PBC manager for a big brand, you can compare what uh, SpyFu is saying, what the estimated monthly budget is, and you can make adjustments to your competitor's uh, budget so you have a better idea of who's ranking uh, based off of this. So let's say that your SpyFu is estimating the monthly budget for Regis is 367,000, but you really know that it's half of that um, in reality, then you could take that and do research on all your competitors and assume that your competitors are spending half of what SpyFu is saying they are. Um, And use that as a guiding tool, but it's still not gonna be accurate. So that's why I'm like, it's not really the best for doing this. It's giving you directional insight so that you can see kind of who's ranking on top of each other from a national perspective. But if you're a local business, this information is not going to be super uh, valuable to you. Even on a national perspective too, uh, it's directionally okay, but you're missing out on desktop traffic. I think where SpyFu wins, and you can also get this information from tools like SEMrush and other paid tools, is going to be the ad history. So you can see the ads that your competitors were running, what type of promotions they were running. Um, This is probably where you will get the most value from it um, because the, the data is not, I wouldn't say, fully accurate from a... Uh, perspective of, you know, ad spend and and performance uh, uh, and cost per clicks. So do keep that in mind. PBC keywords, again, I don't know how they rank the most successful keywords. I think it's a good place to start if you're looking to do some keyword research, but don't take this as this is really what's performing the best. Um, Just take it and do your own testing and see what it yields but don't assume that all this data is going to be accurate. So do I recommend this for $40 a month um, to use for PPC research? I think you can test it out for 40 bucks a month. Maybe just, you know, try it as a trial um, and see, um, you know, how it works for you. I don't think that this is a long-term tool to use. It could be, if you are a national brand, uh, definitely could be something to consider. But remember, there's a lot of shortcomings. If you're a small brand, um, you know, small business, and you're looking to use this, you're going to get the most value from the ad history and the keyword research aspect. But from the competitive research Um, perspective, it's not going to be the best uh, use of, um, you know, data here. Uh, So do take all of that with a grain of salt. You can still use it. There's still value in it. Do I think it's worth $40 a month from a, uh, from a perspective of a small business uh, using it? Not necessarily. You can do research on what your competitors are, um, you know, spending on, uh, in terms of ad history, uh, if that's really important to you, then yes. 
But if it's not really important to you to see what kind of promotions your competitors were running, and also keep in mind, your competitors might not even show in this tool. So, you know, you can try it. Um, I don't even know if there's a free trial. Is there a free trial for SpyFu? Let's check. There's no free trial. So you do have to pay the $40 a month if you want to get access to this. So um, I don't think it's necessary, but it could be helpful to a certain extent. Uh, I have also shared in the past that there is a tool on Google called the Ad Transparency Tool. So you could see what current ads your competitors are running. Um, so that is something, it's kind of like the, the ad, Facebook ads library. So that could be something that you can use as an alternative to this, but it's not a complete necessary thing to purchase, especially for $40 a month. If you're a small business, I understand $40 is not, you know, it's not a ton of money, but it's still something that you would, you know, want to know, you know, is this something that is worthwhile? So it's not the most accurate data, bottom line, and I don't think it's really necessary, but if you want to use it, the best value is going to be coming from the ads history and the PPC keywords. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, drop them below. And if you are interested in Google ads management or an audit, feel free to check out the link in the description to learn more. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.